Praise God. Today we're coming out of Mark 9, 14 through 19 from the NLT, which reads, They found a great crowd surrounding the other disciples, as some teachers of religious law were arguing with them. What is all this arguing about? He asked. Teacher, I brought my son for you to heal him. I asked your disciples to cast out the evil spirit, but they couldn't do it. Father, we thank you for the message on today. Open up our hearts, our minds, and our ears so that we can receive from this message on today. Forgive us of our sins. And Father, we thank you for your love. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Today, this message is going to be entitled, Failures and Distractions. Failures and Distractions. The father was desperate. His son was possessed by a spirit that had robbed him of speech. It drew him to the ground, made him foam at the mouth, and gnash his teeth. The disciples had tried to cast out the spirit, but failed. And again, how do we know that this was a spirit and not epilepsy? How do we know that this young boy or young man wasn't having a seizure? Well, I think Jesus would know the difference even when we don't. But when we have discerning of spirit, we would know the difference between a medical ailment and a spiritual one. Praise God. They assumed that they could not solve the problem. Instead, they started arguing with the crowd, which included teachers of the law. We do not know what they were arguing about. But we do know that they had stopped trying to solve the problem. On the other hand, the boy's father was determined to find a solution. He was not distracted and did not give up. He turned in faith to Jesus who simply rebuked the spirit and the boy was delivered. Praise God. How many Christians today are like the disciples? They may try to solve the problem they face, but give up if their efforts do not seem successful. They may assume that there is no solution. Many also love to argue and debate theories and theology instead of seeking God in faith and persistent to solve problems. And I smile because just thinking about that makes me think of uh, my ex-husband. He, he rather debate and his other um men that I come across, they rather debate, you know, in an argument than to receive the information that God is trying to give them. Praise God. Do you know anybody like that? But some are like the father in this story. These are people who turn to Jesus in faith and believe him for the help they need. Today you have a choice. God's power is available for you, but you must not give up. Call on God with faith and confidence. Fill your mind with his word and do not allow yourself to be distracted by doubt, sin, fear, or the opinions of others. God's power is available for you. Praise God. Father, I commit these problems to you. Terrorism famine, illness, pestilence, disease, racism, peace in Jerusalem, peace throughout the world. I will not give up or become distracted. I depend on you. I believe that nothing is too hard for you in Jesus precious name I thank you for the healing of your people and amen amen and amen